Okay, so this is my second pour. And it's also my first time using Floetrol and water as my medium. I've got black, that I mixed with a slate gray on sale and I've got my shimmery purple Let's see that shimmer I mixed about one-third of the gesso with each of these paints and some of the paints were a little bit more clumpier than others so I just added a little extra water to those ones got white I think I added the most water to the white because I really want it to help me fill this canvas here. A little thick still, but. And then I think this one was called Laguna. I'm not 100% certain, but it was the um, Apple Barrel brand at Walmart. I actually bought a set of 12 for five bucks because I realized I had like 12 different colors I'd picked up when I realized I could just buy 12 of them for five bucks as opposed to 50 cents each which would have been more than five dollars but I thought this color was the prettiest and it kind of led me into choosing yellow for this pour yellow yellow and then the color that reminds me of my grandma which is like this soft pretty blue This one's a little thick too, but should be all right. Okay, so first things first, let me grab my gloves and a towel. fresh out of towel so I'm gonna attempt to use very carefully a corner of this dirty ass t-shirt that we keep in here for rags in the garage I'm filming in the garage my grandma's garage okay I think this one right here I just want to wipe this canvas down a little bit just to make sure I know that there's gonna no matter what probably be dust and hair we have pets, but I'm just wiping it. I'm watching to make sure I'm not making it any worse than it already is. I definitely could have applied some gesso to this canvas. I'm just now noticing it's got little imperfections, but I'm not gonna worry about that because I am learning and that's the truth. Okay. I'm gonna use the flip cup technique that I had. I did that with my other, I can show you. I actually, this would be considered my second pour. And I did top this off with a coat of um, polyurethane, but I, I did not use this polycrylic, which I realized we had after the fact. It is a water-based, but I used the latex-based Min wax polyurethane clear gloss and I tried putting that over this to save it and it did actually bring some of the color back out of it I did take a photo when I first did this pour it was freaking beautiful and I was so upset well not necessarily upset but I was kind of bummed out when I I did do this on the back of a panel board you can tell like wall paneling that was left over from my great grandma's build but um, 
it basically when it dried and I did I checked on it a few you can kind of see some cells sorry I'm scatterbrained but um, when it was drying I didn't notice you know the paint was still thick on it and I was loving it I was so excited but when I checked it the next day it was like this and before I put this gloss on it literally just looked like an army green board but it kind of the clear gloss did kind of bring out some of the very few cells but all of the different colors and waves and pattern on there I really love it I wanted this piece I wanted to get it to put on a plastic desktop that I use for my laptop so let me see if you can see it I gotta check okay yeah you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the um the swirls and the pretties and I think I'm still gonna use it Sorry if I'm louder, I'm kind of up on here and checking my stuff. Huh. But yes, that happened. <laughs> so be aware that if you're gonna paint or do any type of resin work or paint work on wall board or hardboard or wall paneling, whatever you call it, MDC, Make sure that you do like a, a primer and a pre-seal on that. You know, I don't know exactly what's the best. It probably depends on the type of wood, but at least you gotta do some sort of a sealer because as you can tell, I'm pretty certain that, um, well, first I thought it was because I had it under this light right here, which is like a shop light. And I thought that because this was, you know, beaming on it, it just dried it too quickly because it was right here. And then the first one I did was right up here still drying. And so I'll have to show you the first one another time because it is in the house on top of the fridge. Okay, we're gonna get started here, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to do the motherfucking poll, okay? So here we go. I hope you're excited as I am. So I did six colors. I thought that it was kind of, you know, even. But let's, um, there, that's a little, you can see the ghetto ness that I'm dealing with here. Okay, my creation. So I have mixed these pretty thoroughly. I am not going to mix them again. I'm just going to dump them, okay? It's important because you, you really don't wanna mess with the fact that you could have missed a spot of your medium or something and it could just totally mess up your, your final piece. So um, we'll go with the black slate gray mixture. Okay. And let's do a little splash of yellow for some weird reason. I just want to throw yellow on this black. I mean, I just mixed it and I said not to do that. I just wanted to make sure that I'd gotten all the sides scraped into there. So black and yellow, black and yellow. Oh, and I might add, I also did, I bought some um, WD-40 silicone, and I did a, sp a sp quick spritz in every single one of them, just that same, like, and just a quickie. Yellow. Let's do a little bit of this. Laguna. I mean, it's okay if you do, if you mix the sides real quick before you pour. But what I'm saying is, is as you're pouring it, you don't want to sit in there and just and dig at it. That's what I was mentioning at the beginning there. Tilly, tilly. It's a pretty. I don't know why I like these colors, but I do. And we gotta go with the perp, girl. Don't forget that perp shit. I'm noticing that this one's a little thick and that there's 
a few bubblies in there, but we're not gonna trip about that right now, okay? We're just gonna be enjoy this pour. So let's get it. And I am gonna use a lot of paint for this one. I noticed that on the first one I did, it first of all did not sell one bit. And it just turned out really great because of the way the colors did mix eventually. But I, it took me a while to get it spread to the sides and I did use a lot of finger work in there to get that to happen. Which again, I'll show another time if you're interested. We just gotta see about that, okay? Got that white in there. Fill it up. We'll just go in the same pattern for now. Black, yellow, 